There's an article on a website called Slate.com by a William Salton, or perhaps he says Salatin, and it's called Inferior Blood, and the subtitle is It's Okay to Reject Blood from Gay Men, But What About Blacks? I'll put the link in the description box. Before I get off into analyzing what this guy has to say, I just want to say that I agree with his main point, which is I don't know why gay men are rejected from giving blood if they've tested negative just like everybody else. But they also go so far as to restrict men who have ever had sex with a man from giving blood. So that means if you're a man and you just had some little experiment with another man in college, then you're still restricted from giving blood. And this applies even if you've lived a heterosexual lifestyle ever since. Again, if a person has tested negative within the time frame that they give for everybody else, then I don't understand why they can't give blood. But I guess the FDA had its reasons for upholding that rule even if it doesn't make sense to everybody else. So, now that we got that out of the way, here's where this guy's argument is flawed. He makes the argument that if gay men are restricted from giving blood due to the high prevalence of AIDS and HIV rates in their population, then shouldn't that rule also apply to blacks? Well, Mr. Salton, it does apply to blacks. You see, it's not the fact that black people are black that makes them have higher rates of HIV and AIDS. It's the risky behaviors that black people engage in. When anyone goes to give blood, the nurse or whoever will read off a list of things and ask you if you've done them. If a black person has done any of those things, they too will be excluded. If they've been a prostitute, if they've shot up drugs intravenously, if they've received blood, if they've been incarcerated, or if that black person is a man who's had sex with another man. It just so happens that homosexual men engage in one of the behaviors that is on that list. That list is not picking on you because if a group of prostitutes came up to give blood, they'd get rejected too. The ban on giving blood does apply to black people who have engaged in risky behaviors that are prohibited. Now, before all the gay men and gay men sympathizers start in on me, Again, I too found it odd that they chose to uphold the ban on gay men giving blood. It seems like if they tested negative, just like any other person who may have uh, engaged in risky behaviors, they ought to be cleared to donate blood as well. And now that I've said that again, one other point I want to make is that I hope this isn't an issue that the gay community takes up as a battle. This is not the same thing as your fight to be able to hold hands with your boyfriend on the street or to be able to get married. This is about people's health and trying to keep the blood supply as disease-free as possible. That's why they came up with that list of risky behaviors in the first place. I seriously doubt they're just trying to pick on gays. Or gay men, that is. Alright, so leave your comments, criticisms, and complaints below. Peace.